All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give our honor, our praises, our glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Ruel. Peace, blessing, grace, and safety goes out to all the IKM around the world, preaching and teaching his word and truth and his sincerity. Shalom to the hopeful elect. All right, start your call from the Mendeville, of South Carolina County, coming back with a lesson. All right. <clears throat> and I'm just going to um go in really quick about uh, the simplicity of the scriptures. All right, because you see the apostles and the elders and all the Akim are right, all around the world going in on the mark of the beast. All right, correcting other counts, correcting other men, breaking it down, telling them, explaining them, showing them through the scriptures. All right, uh, how the uh, how we believe through faith that the RFID microchip is the mark of the beast. All right, and it's uh, you know, it's really simple. All right, it's really easy to understand. All right, once you get uh, the buying and selling aspect of the situation uh, and of the point of it, it's clear to see that you're going to have to have something, all right, in, in order to buy or sell. And it's not sin and it's not an embargo or none of that, all right? You're going to have to have something inserted in your flesh that they can track in order to buy or sell in the future, all right? And that is the RFID microchip. And I was just going into how, you know, it's easily understood. Just my little fifth year in the truth or whatever. And uh, as soon as I heard it, I understood it, you know, and I got it. And then likewise for the brothers that's in my count, all right, the men of all the count that I'm in, all right, all the Akim, you know, in my church, get it. All right, all the Akim around the world, preaching this word of truth and sincerity, get it. You know, and I, if somebody does have a little trouble getting it and you can show them, they should get it. But I just wanted to go into it how hey, it's really uh, the simplicity of the scriptures and Jake <clears throat> is making it more harder than what it has to be. All right, Jake don't like for things to be uh, a simple answer, okay? So let's grab some scriptures. All right, this is 2 Corinthians 11 and 3. But I fear, lest by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Hamashiach. Yes, so the uh, Satan, man, the serpent, all right, the spiritual uh, uh, demon Satan and his counterpart of Esau, Edom, all right, is uh, 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 <clears throat> getting in your minds, corrupting the simplicity of Yahweh's side, all right, because this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is simple, all right, to the whole for a leg, all right, and it's a little uh, beeping noise in the background, so lucky about that, you know, but um, hopefully it ain't too loud or whatever. But back to the uh, wisdom being easy uh, to the whole for elect. This is Proverbs 14 and 6. A scorner seeketh wisdom and findeth it not. But knowledge is easy unto him that understandeth. Yeah. You see? Hey, people that's doing this thing for strife, talking shit. All right? They trying to get it. They trying to break it down, but they can't get it. They trying to seek that wisdom. wisdom so like it. They trying to seek that wisdom and cannot find it. All right? Oh, hold on. Let me do this real quick for somebody to hit me up. All right. It says, A scorner seeketh wisdom and findeth it not, but knowledge is easy unto him that understandeth. This knowledge of the uh, RFID microchip is easy to understand. All right. It's, it's easy to him that, that have understanding. All right. And the hopeful elect is going to have that ultimate understanding to get the things or uh, to have the correct breakdowns in the scriptures. All right. So Proverbs 14 and 6, a scorn that seeketh wisdom and findeth it not, but knowledge is easy unto him that hath understanding. All right. This is Ecclesiasticus 39 and 24. As his ways are plain unto the holy, so are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. All right. And the Apostle Tahar was going in on stumbling blocks earlier. All right. He did a video a day or a day or so ago about uh, stumbling blocks. And these jakes are stumbling blocks. All right, to other Israelites, okay, they're stumbling blocks and blocking them from uh, seeing the the simplicity. All right, in the breakdown of the mark of the beast. All right, so Sirach or Ecclesiasticus thirty nine and twenty four, as his ways are plain unto the holy, so are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. So the ways are plain unto the holy man. All right. To the separate, to the holy, it's easy to understand that the RFID microchip is the mark of the beast. It says, so they are stumbling blocks to the wicked. So if you're wicked, if you're not destined for uh, salvation, you're not going to get 
uh, certain of these breakdowns that's uh, uh, that are uh, preached, okay? And not saying that a brother won't uh, rest with the sc uh, scripture. Some brothers might have uh, certain moments they can't understand a breakdown, they can't get it, but what? They will go to other men, and men will break it down to them and, and bring out the scriptures and the understanding, and they will see it, all right? But ultimately, it's because what? These jakes don't have the light in them, man, all right? Isaiah 8 and 20, to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Yeah, so, hey, Jake's ain't got this light in them, man. They don't have the light or your how it's shining them to understand these things, all right? They might be on point about a lot of things, but, hey, a little leaven, uh, uh, leaven the whole lump, roughly paraphrasing, all right? No, I butchered that, but Isaiah 8 and 20, to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. All right, and if you don't believe that the RFID microchip is the mark of the beast and having a hard time understanding it, it might be because it's not no light in you, man. You know, so brothers, <clears throat> you know, humble down. All right, watch the lessons, play, pay attention, go into the word, search the scriptures like the Church of Berea. I'm not saying just listen to the men and take, uh, uh, believe them, no. All right, because we didn't do that. All right, we study and search the scriptures like the Church of Berea with these breakdowns that the apostles put out. All right, we went to the words. All right, went to the karag with the sai sai stigma. All right, the buy and sell, the right hand, the left hand. All right, the condemnation, the the um, the condemnation of if you take this mark. All right, you got to know it's the difference between the image and the mark of the beast. These things you have to know, and it's simple to the uh to the holy. You know, so I just want to bring that real quick going in on a hot topic about the uh, RFID microchip. You know, so I don't want to rock this out. That was edifying. Call Halal Yahweh Shalom.